But trigonometry doesn't stop at skyscrapers. For centuries, people have used it to find their way when they were completely lost. Now, imagine a ship out at sea before the days of GPS. So the captain would probably see two lighthouses on the shore and they'd measure the angles to each one. And knowing where those lighthouses are on the map, the crew would then create triangles and pinpoint their exact location. This process is called triangulation. And surveyors used the same idea to map entire countries. So they set up tall towers on hilltops, measure the angles between them, and use trigonometry to calculate distances that were impossible to measure directly. Piece by piece, they stitched together whole maps of the world. And let's fast forward to today, and the same principle powers your smartphone. So instead of lighthouses, we now use satellites. So your phone receives signals from at least three satellites orbiting thousands of miles above Earth. Each satellite tells your phone its position and how long the signal took to arrive. And that gives you distance from each satellite. With three distances, trigonometry draws a triangle in space and pinpoints your exact spot on Earth. So the next time you open Google Maps and it tells you where your nearest coffee shop is, remember this, trigonometry is the invisible navigator that got you there.